Welcome to the module on batch cooking and other time-saving techniques. Batch cooking is a lifesaver for me, and if you want to save time in the kitchen, you might want to consider giving it a try. Batch cooking simply means making large uh, portions of ingredients that you can use in several recipes, or doubling and tripling recipes so that you have a lot of leftovers to use throughout the week. I'm going to start off by showing you how easy it is to batch cook, say, oats, potatoes, rice, pasta. So this is steel cut oats. I'm going to make a batch of steel cut oats. Typically, I'm only gonna make one batch right now because I've got a lot in the fridge. But if you wanted to make enough for the week, if you plan on having oatmeal for the whole week for your breakfast, this would be a good thing to do. So it's a cup of oats to three cups of water in an instant pot. Pressure cook for five minutes. Uh, some people just let the pressure cooker, the instant pot come to pressure and then re they release it right then. I always let it go for five minutes and that works well. So that's it. You're done with that. You don't have to stand at the stove and stir the oatmeal or babysit it. You can put it in the Instant Pot and walk away and it'll beep when you're done. Okay, so let's be sure though, now that I mentioned that, we don't want the steam to come out just yet. We wanna be sure that it's sealed so it raises to pressure, so that's done. Another thing you can batch cook in big quantities is rice. So say you were making stuffed peppers or rice pudding, uh, stir fries, anything that you would use rice. You'd have rice on hand in the fridge to do that. And by the way, with the steel cut oats, it's more than just oatmeal. There's a good recipe for kale and oats that's a lovely dinner. If you, if you still want to explore that, you could. So then we have potatoes. Even potatoes can be made in the Instant Pot. This is a bag of organic golden potatoes. They can be, they, these can be made into fries. You can um, mash them with potatoes and you know have potatoes and gravy there's several you could cube them use them in a breakfast casserole so if you have cooked potatoes on hand that is wonderful so the next thing to consider for batch cooking is to just make lots of meals at one time say you pick four or five recipes for the week that you're going to make just commit to making them all at one time. It'll take a couple hours, two or three hours. That's what I do. I On Thursdays is my day to batch cook. So if I pick four recipes for the week, usually it's at least four, maybe, and then maybe a chickpea salad for lunch or something and breakfast. Maybe if I make um, a roadhouse hash or some other breakfast casserole, that could be one of the recipes too but I will do them all at once, or at least most of it at once, just so that I'm done for the week, because I don't wanna cook every day. I wanna have food in the fridge at my disposal. Maybe you like to come home and cook every day and that suits your schedule better. I don't prefer to do that, so batch cooking comes in good. So if possible, recruit your family members to help in this ordeal. That will make the time go so much faster. If you have people chopping or you know, doing dishes or anything that will help out to make things go faster. Many hands make light work. Even the food processor will do chopping for you. That saves a lot of time as well. Another thing you could do is if you have a chili recipe that you love or a burger recipe, double it. Put the extras in the freezer, you know, store that away so that when you do need something in a hurry, it's there for you. So tossed salad is another thing. You can make a bunch of those at once and store them in individual plastic containers or baggies or even jars. Use pre-washed greens to save time rather than washing all the lettuce if you can. But if you buy kale or something, whole leaf, you might have to still wash it. Also, you can pre-cook a batch of pancakes or waffles and put those in the freezer. So Sunday comes along, we usually make pancakes or, or waffles or something like that. Put the extras in the freezer, pop them in the toaster, and you're good to go for breakfast. Other time-saving tips include to wash all your veggies at one time when you get home. That's what I do. I have one of those drying mats that you lay everything on, and I come home and I just wash all the sweet potatoes, all the peppers, everything that's gonna be used that week. I just wash it and let it sit out to dry. Because when I'm making a recipe, I don't wanna drag everything out and have to wash it then. I'd rather just do it all at once and be done with it. 
stock up on canned beans, canned tomatoes. Um, if the budget allows, always buy organic and in non-BPA cans if the budget allows for that. Buy frozen veggies to use in stir fries, pastas, and casserole. Steamer veggies work great too. So when you're doing your steamer broccoli potato, for example, example, you could you know just use frozen veggies for that if you don't want to take the time to steam things or if you're making a stir fry some of the stir fry recipes call for pre-cut veggies and often i'll just use a 16 ounce or 24 ounce bag of stir fry veggies that are already you know just veggies they'll watch your label so there's nothing else in there but vegetables in a pinch that comes in very handy make one pot meals in a pressure cooker or instant pot there are tons of recipes out there for the instant pot Remember, or a crock pot even, if you still have a crock pot. You remember how you put stuff in the crock pot and go, go away all day and come home and the meal's ready. The Instant Pot does that too, but much, much, much faster because it's the Instant Pot. So <laughs> recipes can be made very quickly and you don't have to babysit it. You throw everything in there and let it do its thing. I'm trying to think of the recipe that I really enjoyed last year it was for a potato soup in the Instant Pot. It was really delicious. I'll try to find that. I'll try to include that in the um, PDF for you. Use the Potato Express bag to microwave potatoes. We've talked about this all through the course. This is the Potato Express bag. Four to five minutes for a, even a sweet potato. You can cook quickly if you don't want to boil potatoes or steam potatoes or or however you choose to cook potatoes. This is very, very quick. Also, pre-mix your spice combos. That's another thing. If you find a chili recipe or, or some recipe that you really love and you feel you're gonna make it a lot, you can pre-mix the spice combos and have them stored in little baggies. So when the time comes to make that recipe, you can just dump the baggie and you've already got your spices laid out. Yeah, that takes pre-planning and it takes, you know, effort, but you'll be glad you did it when the time comes. Store your flowers and other bulk things in these little plastic jars. That's what I do. So when I need rice, it's much quicker to do this than to open a bag of rice. I just like the, the quick, quick release tops. I, that's why I use these plastic jars a lot, especially for things that I buy in bulk. It's quick access. When baking, I've got my flours stored in there. I got my nutritional yeast. I've got rice. I've got, you know, other things stored in these jars too, cacao, so that when I need it, it's quickly at my disposal by doing this. And I don't have to get the bag out and reseal the bag and put it all away. So I hope this has been somewhat helpful for batch cooking and time-saving tips. I was hoping the oatmeal would be done, but it's not. It's still got three minutes to go. It takes time for this to rise up to pressure and then pressure cook, and then it will naturally release the pressure, or you can release it yourself, whoops, <laughs> with this little nozzle. So just wanted to show you that. I was hoping it'd be done, but it's not anyway. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any time-saving tips, that you'd like to share with the group, that would be awesome. So feel free to put those on the community group. Okay, thanks.